Hello everyone, I hope your week has gone well. In today's video, I will explain why I don't consider Halloween ends as canon, and that the timeline ended after Halloween Kills. To begin with, if we go back and watch 2018 and Kills, at least there's some story and plot building, right? Mainly in 2018 for the plot building. 2018 in Kills had character development that is noticeable and appreciated. Look at uh, Al uh, Karen, you know, uh, compare her in 2018. She was kind of annoying and then by the end of the film, you know, she redeems herself. And then uh, look at Kills, it seems like she was the only likable character throughout the whole film, you know. Uh, 2018 and Kills also remind us that we are watching a, uh, that we're watching horror, thriller, and slasher movies, right? <laughs> and not a love story. 2018 and Kills also remind us that the story is about Michael and about Lori. Everyone else is a supporting character that receives meaningful screen time and they're relevant. 2018 was about what a psychopath like Michael would do if he was somehow freed from the state's custody again, even after being locked up for 40 years. Or however long it was. I think it was 40 years. Yeah. Anyway, he does what he's good at, and no one is shocked. Kills is about Michael's wrath taken to the next level and wanting his revenge and it's also about how numerous citizens of Haddonfield were so upset with the ineptness of uh, the Haddonfield Police Department and decided to take it upon themselves to kill Michael at any cost including their own lives 2018's ending was perfect because in the battle of good and evil good prevailed well not for long <laughs> you see Michael is not just a man and yeah I said ends isn't canon but we still know Michael is supernatural and has powers come on also kills on the other hand gives us a twist and that the second battle of good and evil and the second battle of good and evil evil prevailed it's a really dark and shocking ending. If we stop the story at that point, we can assume the police and paramedics just rush upstairs and apprehend Michael. Michael would end up surrendering as he has no other option and he got what he wanted, which was a night of doing what he does best and also returning home to look out Judah's window once more. While many consider Kills a flop, or even a disappointment, I consider it a better ending to the timeline instead of Halloween Ends. Halloween Ends is inconsistent with the rest of the movies, a part of this timeline. The character development is trash in Halloween Ends. The love story was painful and unbelievably awful. The story had little to do with Michael Myers or Lori, and instead it was primarily—excuse me—it was primarily a rip-off of Carrie, to a degree, and even the Joker. And that sometimes people can be pushed far enough to their breaking points where they may do awful things. Yeah, I guess David Gordon Green forgot what the name of the franchise was and decided Michael's time and relevance is fading. And that we needed someone to take on the mantle. Oh wait, David Gordon Green had Corey killed by the end of Halloween Ends. So, what was the point of having him be the focus of the damn movie only for you to kill him off? Oh god, well done David Gordon Green. Well done. Thank you to those who listened to this rant about why I don't consider Halloween Ends as canon. Let me know in the comments if you agree. 
I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend. Um, wash your hands, don't touch your face, and stay safe. Thank you.